Chris, mm. um, can you confirm for the purposes of this interview that this is indeed your car? I own this vehicle. Okay, the V5 is in my name. Good, good, good. I'll be checking the document later. Um, and this is the exact car that you used in the film? Absolutely. Correct. Yeah. Who on earth did you buy this thing off? Presumably some uh, sort of boozy French farmer No, no. I bought it in Sussex, mm. actually in West Sussex, which when you live in the West Country is a silly thing to do because when you buy a car, you normally think, well, I'll just drive it home. Yeah. This car on the flat will do about 38 to 40 miles an hour. Is that and legal you, on the motorway? No, well, you can just about drive it on the motorway. But it took me six or seven hours to get it home. So it's a labour of love from the start, but I do adore it. It is. It's a beautiful thing. I want to talk about the patina or patina. What is it? Patina. Patina, right. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. It's almost too perfect. Um, has it been professionally aged? Oh, come it, on. Well, it's rusted, it's but not it's not corroded. It's not a pair of brogues. <laughs> but the honest truth of the car is, it lived in northern France all of its life. Mm. Uh, I think it had the usual gamut of owners. It was, you know, doctors and probably a few churchgoers and what yeah, have you. Yeah, yeah. The chassis was rotten. The chassis with two TV is effectively a spine that runs down the middle. Mm -hmm. So the, the chassis was replaced, I think, 10, 15 years ago by someone in France. Yeah. And the bodywork was left absolutely as it always has been. So that's why inside all the glue's hanging off and yeah. the interior's hanging off. But the, the paintwork, well, what there is left of it, there yeah. is no real paintwork left, is absolutely original. It's a 1957 AZ. Mm -hmm. 57 is crucial because in 57, you still had canvas all the way up here. Mm -hmm. um, 58, it became uh, steel well, down today. No yeah. one's a 58. And you don't want a 58. All right, so for the benefits of uh, maybe our younger viewers back home, probably Rory Reed as well, that don't appreciate the brilliance of this car, yeah. thought we'd run through the unique selling points that it brings to the table. Um, we'll start off with the comfort line suspension. Um, what can you tell us about that? Well, actually, this car is a bit of a cheat because it's running a slightly small wheel. The bigger diameter wheel, uh, they're quite rare. I have got a set, but I tend to run it on these. Mm -hmm. So effectively, you have a very narrow tire um, and a lot of uh, suspension travel. That's the whole point of the, of the car. It's cross-linked, so effectively, there's a spring unit under here. Yeah. Um, that, that controls either side of the car. So the car is effectively symmetrical. So it's not sprung conventionally, but that gives it that enormous travel. Yeah. The engine's a 425cc air-cooled flat twin. Power? 425. It's about 12 and a half horsepower, this Ooh. one. But I think this is a really good, healthy one. I like so how I've, you've gone with the half. The well, half I've, is crucial. I think we're nudging 13 with this one, because it goes quite well. A bit tricked out. Um, it? Seats for people. As mm -hmm. you saw in the film, the design brief is, yeah. is quite strict, and it meets all of those criteria. Well, you say it meets the criteria, but it's it's um, mustn't break the eggs across a bumpy field. Yeah, yeah. You broke all the eggs. No, Matt tipped 400 eggs onto me in the name of television humour. No! Oh! Oh! That was a tip! Look at this, look at this here. Back That's early. the original sign from when it was bought oh, there, with, the, with, the, with all the weights and the limits. And the... These seats are great as well. I've got a deck chair at home with more padding than these, but they're sprung, so it's beautifully quite comfortable. A, quite a bouncy I've example. spent hours in here with my kids. Yeah. And there you go, there's the air conditioning. Love the, it. Just, there's the so air conditioning go, there, guys. Air conditioning there, air conditioning open. Excellent. And right, the seats, you can take them out. Yeah, the whole point of the two CVs. Uh, accommodation was that you could, if you wanted to stop on a French yeah. route nationale or a D road and you had a camembert mm. and a bit of uh, flesh to eat, then you'd just stop <laughs> by a field and just take the interior take out the with interior. you. It also, of course, means it's a car ahead of its time mm -hmm. because it's the perfect safety device and security device. Yeah. You try nicking a car that's got no seats in it. I'll demonstrate to you, okay, sir. One you man, man, one man job there. You're right forwards. Nip the thighs out there. there. Come on, we can. You know, I like that. It's feel like that is. Oh. What's that? Carbon fibre? No. How, do you, how do you reckon that would fare in an end cap test? Sit it down. It's not great, is it? Um, when you sit down, it's key. If you roll back too quickly, yeah. this is the strategy, and you fall off it. So you go forwards. Okay. Obviously, for the, for the purpose of comedy, sit I'm down. quite open. Tell me that isn't comfortable. That. Yeah, that's spot on. And also, you, you know, you've left your car by the side of the road. Mm -hmm. Who's going to steal it? A very small person standing up at the wheel. Not possible, unless unless Herb Villachet happened to be going past in um, the man with the golden guns car, Scaramanga's car, yeah. then uh, you're not going to nick that. One of the most secure vehicles on the planet. Though. It's genius, I love yeah. it. Why do you love it? Because driving is about operating controls, mm. okay? It's not about how fast you go, it's about operating controls. You're always busy in this thing. 
you're always doing something, you're always in a different gear. I love the fact that it's got a, a unique gear shift, doesn't feel yeah, like anything yeah. else. Yeah. And I love the fact that people respond so well to it. I love the fact it's clever. It's a great car to enjoy with other people. Mm -hmm. It's always, I never ever don't have an adventure in this thing. Just going to the shops in it is an adventure. Mm -hmm. Did you actually convert Matt LeBlanc? Yeah, he thinks it's utterly charming, but then he's, you know, he's quite open-minded, he likes machinery. This is a clever, clever piece of machinery. It, it feels like they've applied very modern thinking to, to solve a problem. I'm not saying it's the last car I'd sell, but it'd be right up there. You'd, I, I can't see any reason why I'd ever get rid of it, it's joyous. It's a thing of beauty. Right, you can put this back in.